In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a clickable item here, or at least when we click on this, it will represent the colors here. By default, as you can see here, it is blank. But if I click now on a specific data set, it will extract the value or the label, the value, and of course the background color. So let's start to explore how to display the click data points in the table. So the first thing what we're going to do here is we're going to get the default code which you can find in chartjs3.com getting started. Scroll down here and by the way if you want to get this link you can also find it in the description box. Scroll down and just grab this entire chunk of code here. Let's copy all of this and if you want to understand what this code does make sure you watch this video that explains it all. So then what I want to do is I want to put it in there and once I did that I will cut out this title put it in here. Save this, refresh, there we are. So now we have this and what I want to do now is to create a quick table here below and later on once we click on it it will show the values in there. So in here uh, let me check in the canvas or just below the canvas I'm going to make a very simple table I will not even spend time on classes but I do recommend for you to make a class so you can easily assign the class and the color design. So I'm going to do just basics. So I say your table, and then I'm going to say here a T hat for the table hat. And then I'm going to say table row. And in the table row, we have the TH, which is the table data column for the header. So we have, in this case, two items. Let's say one would be the label, and the other one would be the value. Once I have that, I'm going down here, and then I'll say here table body. And then I can just put it in there. And then here again, table row. And then in the table row, we're going to say here table data and then here same story I need another one as well and this here I'll just leave it like this basically there's nothing in here yet save this refresh so now we have this just to give it a little bit of a quick design I'm going to say here table and then that's why I recommend you to give it a class because what I'm going to do here is basically not the best practice if you would have two or more tables this would interfere so I just say your table tr th uh, td all right, and then here what I will say here, padding, 10 pixels. And then what we can say here more is we say border, and the border will be one pixel solid, and then we say hashtag triple six, which is the chart here as colors. And then we can say here, uh, let's see what more, padding, and I say maybe width, 100%. Save then, refresh, you can see here we have these so-called a collapsing or the space between so we need to do the border collapse so border collapse equals collapse save refresh there we are we, what we could do as well some margin at the very top so I'll just do very simple here I just say table margin top and pixels seven column save refresh all right so now we have this here I will not spend any time more on this if you want of course you can just get all these kind of things you can design yourself and by the way i have a specific video if you say well i don't want to hard code it i want it soft coded i have a specific video how you can soft code it based on the data here although i would not recommend it if you're going to make it dynamic as what we're going to do here so what i want to do is that when i click here put in this values here and maybe a nice background color so how do we do this well for this what we need to do is we need to create basically a new function and this function would basically help us understand if we click on our chart, it will understand if we click on it, that's number one. Secondly, it will also understand if we click, for example, on this one here, which gets the Monday value and the value of number 18. So those need to be shown here as well. So let's do that now. So what I'm going to say here, this will be a click handler function. And a click handler is basically a function that hand does a specific task on click, well, in this case, but it's just a name, so it doesn't matter. You can give it anything you want. And then what I want to do is here. The first one is, let's say here, console log, just to see if it works. Say yes. What I want to do now is if I refresh and then click on this, I want to make sure that it will understand that this will trigger. Because right now, of course, it doesn't trigger anything because we didn't trigger the functionality. So how do we do this? Now we're going to say here, we're going to grab this my chart, put it here down, and then we say dot. And then what I want to do here is I want to get the canvas itself because I want to grab basically this specific element ID. 
but what we can do is instead of normally I would say I would just cut this out and give this a separate value but now I can just say a dot canvas which is the same as well because this is an object itself that has a canvas in here so that's what we can do as well then we're going to say here we're going to trigger this on click and well if you have on click I want to grab here the click handler put it in there and then what I will say here this will be the click value now instead of yes maybe I can just say click value save that refresh now once I have this click on here and look at this we get here all the information however I don't need all of this information I only need one specific part here that we're going to do on now so I'm going to put in here some extra enter so it looks more better and then maybe here as well there we are so we're a bit more in the center that's a bit more comfortable and then what I want to do here is the following I want to say here I want to grab specific value so I'm going to say here constant points equals and then I'm going to say here my chart which is of course my chart let me say here get oh let me just go back here dot get elements at event for mode so basically what I want to do is on this event it will get basically the values once we click on it and more specifically we're going to get it once we are intersecting so we're going to specify this and this is a specific command or function built in chart.js so I'm going to say here the trigger will be click which is basically this I'm going to put it in here there's a comma and I'm going to specify it as nearest so we want to extract the nearest value or when we are on click which would mean that we do tri trigger or explore are we near to a specific element by the click with the x and y coordinates and then what I'm going to say here comma this will be triggered on intersect I'm going to say here intersect and this will be set on true and this again here true save this so if you're wondering oh this is, should be intersect not interest so intersect all right refresh so if I click on this of course nothing happens yet but if you're wondering what is the intersect so intersect and make sure you spell this really correctly intersect like that intersect basically means when we are just thinking like an intersection or a crossroad when we cross the road or where there's two rays like a crossing it, those two are intersecting those two roads are intersecting and basically it's a crossing so it cross each other and for us the same happens here so how does it work in chart chairs when we intersect you can see here the tooltip the moment my mouse intersects this shape passes the border here it will recognize and trigger this tooltip here this is very important and that is what we call intersect so in our case when we are clicking within this border and or within the border here it should show or recognize this is Friday and if you're outside here even if you're very close to it it should not trigger any ID number so what we need to grab is a specific uh, array number here so now we have this what we can do now is we can say your console log and then we're going to say here points save that that's this specific item here if I save this and refresh and then we have this console log here above the click let's remove that if I click now you can see here it shows nothing but if I click in this item here where we intersect the item or the element in that case we get the information and you can see here what we get we get here the data set and we can also get here the x and y coordinates we get the width we get everything but basically the data set index and the index itself we need the index is basically the black one and the data set would be if you have one or two data sets here so in that case of course we have multiple bars but in this case we only have one single data set here so what I want to do now is the following I'm going to say here I'm going to say if points indicate any length here which is length of one as you can see here we have zero that would indicate a length of one so in that case I want to show specific value in this case what I want is I want to grab or extract the data set index so I'm going to say here points dot data set index and we can do here even a console log save that refresh click now you can see it's always zero which is correct because we only have one data set here but we can do the same with the index save that refresh click and you can see here now we have data set zero but index 
four, three, two, whatever we click on based on the element. So now we have this. And what I want to do now is the following. I'm going to say here, constant. And this constant, we can say here, yes, the data set. Data set equals this. And then next I want to do another one. It would be the points, or not even the points, the index here equals that one. All right, so we can remove these two. So now we have this. And what I want to do is the following. I want to grab here, for example, the label. So how do we grab the label here? Well, basically, we have here the data set and the index. So we can grab here now. How do we get here? You can see here the labels. We just need to have the right index. So all I do here is the following. I want to say a console log first. And to get them, we go to my chart. And then from my chart dot, we're going to say data. And then from data, we're going to say labels. If you go here from my chart, you can jump into data, and then from data we get labels, and there we are. So what I need here is then the index here. I'm just going to grab this, put the index here. So if I save this now, refresh, click, you can see now Tuesday, Wednesday, etc., etc. So we grab all of these values, and it shows nicely. So now what I want to do here is those specific items. So we can say maybe constant labels equals this or not even labels, it should be the label itself. So then we have this here. So the next thing what I need to do here is start working with the table row here. We have this table row and what I want to do is I want to grab and put in here the specific item. For example, here in this case, when we click on Friday, it should show here Friday. So how do we do this? Well, remember we have here the table body and the table row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinpoint that table row first. So I'm going to say here constant tr equals document dot query selector and this query selector I'm going to say here string and then we're going to say a t body space tr and then what I'm going to do here is oh make sure that tr and what I'm really going to do I'm going to just use a simple trick here because we get here the query selector but I need to get here Oh, sorry, not even the query selector, I need the query selector all. But if you do all, we might get more if there would be. In this case, there's only one. But if there would be two or three, depending on your data sets, different story applies. Then in this case, we have this all, you will see more value. So if we show you now the TR, you will see only one specific node list. If I click on this, one node list, because we only have one table row here. So that's very important to understand, all right? So then what I want to do here is I don't want only this table row here. I want the individual one. I say zero. So if I save this now, I will click on this. Now what happens is I get this specific one here, which is index zero because it's the first one in the table body or the T body tag. But what I need is basically this information here. This is for me crucial. So I want to sign here the text Monday to Sunday and here whatever the value would be when we click on that. So let's start to assign that. So how do we do this? So what I'm going to say here is TR, and then we're going to say a children, because remember, these are considered children of the table row. So, and then we're going to say here, children, then we're going to say index zero to get the first one. Then we're going to say inner text equals, and then here, for example, the label. So then, of course, we can do the second one for the data. So this could be here, maybe value. But this, of course, will be like that. So if I save this now, refresh, put in here, you can see this one works, but this one gives an error because we have no value reference. So that's a reference error. So let's solve that because we didn't specify here a value. So let's copy this. I'm going to say your value. I'm going to say my chart data. And then here, I want the data sets. And the data sets is data set index or array so in here and then we say a dot and then what we're going to do here is of course the data is the index so what we're really doing is we go here to data set and this is index zero because there's only one data set here and then here the data then whatever the index would be that we clicked on so once we have this put this here on number one because that's the second item in here so refresh click there we are so you can see here, it shows the value. So now what I want to, and that's the last part, is I want to add up a background color. 
So how do we do this? Well, let's grab our background color first. Let's say your constant. Let's say here VG color equals, and let's do here my chart. You can just almost grab this, almost all of it. We have here the data set, and then we change this. What exactly do we need to change it? Because we go into the data sets, then not data, but the background color. But of course, the same array, because we have the similar array here. So what I'm going to do here, in the data, I'll say here, background color, and then we can just say here, tr dot style dot background color equals bg color. Save that, refresh, click on that, click on this, and there we are. And this is basically how you can make a clickable item com combining it with the table here. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to do a dynamic table, although it will be not 100% applicable for this case scenario, but for example, you have a data set here and you want to create a dynamic table based on whatever in your data set is, in that case, I'm going to recommend you to watch this specific video on how to create a table from data sets in Chart.js.